love knows no boundaries, but when it comes to separation, things can get complicated. Each year in the European Union, more than one divorce in ten involves a couple who do not share the same nationality. It's like I'm lame, disabled, I'm missing a leg. I cannot continue living as I did, not keep my children. Divorce is never easy, but when it comes to binational couples, the situation can easily turn into a legal headache or even lead to dramatic conflicts when children are involved. This French mother has been living in a nightmare since her divorce with her German ex-husband four years ago. This is Astrid's room, my daughter who comes once a month for a weekend. It's the visiting rights that I've had to fight hard for and so far it's been respected. On the other hand, my son has his room waiting for him. The wardrobe is full of clothes. Things that I bought two years ago, which he has never worn. Marie has just moved to Saarbrücken in Germany in the hope of seeing more of her children who are six and nine. The German authorities revoked custody rights, saying she imposes an abduction risk. When the father filed a complaint after she took the children on holiday to France without his consent. I fought for 18 months to at least try to see my children. Every time I tried to approach them, the police were called, either by the school, family or someone else. They thought I was there to abduct my children. In the end, Marie feels discriminated against by the justice system of a country which is not her own. Instead of helping to fix things, I have the opposite feeling. The German justice system makes things worse for the parent who's already abroad and finding it difficult. So there's really the impression that whatever we do, we are prejudged. Isolation and lack of knowledge of laws and attitudes in a foreign country often exacerbate conflicts. In family law, the rules vary widely among cultures. That's why legal tools have been developed to treat cross-border cases. The issue of parents abducting children is dealt with by the Hague Convention and an EU law known as Brussels 2 bis. In most cases, the child is returned quickly to their country of origin. This Franco-German divorce lawyer provides more information. This regulation returns jurisdiction to the court of the place where the child lived with its family before separation. It'll be the judge in that country that holds a hearing to look at the case, make a ruling on custody, where there will be an investigation to see what is best for the child to live there or elsewhere. Based in Brussels, Child Focus is familiar with these issues. In Belgium, the NGO manages calls to the European Emergency Number for Missing Children, 116 000. In roughly a quarter of cases, it's parental abduction. We saw in Germany, for instance, that they had 700 cases last year. So we see that it is a problem that arises more and more within Europe. Um, we also know that there are about 170,000 international divorces within the European Union each year. So we know that this is a problem that will uh, continue to grow. The NGO supports parents who are victims, such as this father of three. A German citizen, he was living in Belgium with his Ukrainian wife when everything changed. I returned from work on a Friday night and the apartment was empty. The furniture was still there but the kids were gone, along with my wife. I didn't understand, the phone was disconnected. For a few days I was going crazy. It took several months to locate the mother who'd moved across the border to Germany. To resolve this type of conflict, along with judicial measures, amicable solutions are often the most effective. Hilda Demeray is convinced of this and has just started a European network of family mediators. 
we try to find family mediators or mediators in every EU country, also some candidate countries, which we gave one training. They all came to Brussels to a 60 or 80 hour training and they learned to, to work together in mediation. We have a model of co-mediation, working with one mediator from each country and they were trained to mediate together in one single model. We didn't write down who does the everyday care for the child. You know? I think this is just a crucial thing. You know, When I think of your one and a half year old child, I'm just wondering who cares for that child. The German NGO, MIKK, is a partner of this project. It specializes in the mediation of international child abduction cases. Christoph Paul is both a lawyer and a mediator for the organization. It's the parents who find a solution. It's the parents who, find, who are responsible for their child, the parents who are the experts of the child's life. The international nature of this mediation requires specific skills. It's not only the knowledge in the mediation field, you also have to know something about cultural diversity, how to handle that. And you also have to know very much about the legal framework within Europe. So if you have a case, for example, with Belgium and Germany, you have to know how that doesn't only work in the German and the Belgium legal framework, but also on the international cross-border legal framework. Fifteen European countries have gone ahead with measures to facilitate international divorces. A new regulation entitled Rome 3 now allows couples to choose which country's law they want to apply to if they separate. So a Spanish woman and a French man married and living together in Italy can, for example, choose to divorce using either Spanish, French or Italian laws. Among the 27 EU countries, only around half have so far adopted this regulation, which came into force in late June. The Rome 3 regulation was not created as a joint divorce procedure because ideas of family life are very different throughout the Union. The purpose of the regulation is to find rules of harmonization and legal certainty. It fights against the rush to court, against the fact that a spouse is quick to appear before the court of a member state which would better protect his or her interests. With closer cooperation and professionals from different countries offering more information, there are now many services available to help international couples untie the knot.